from AI personalities that can help you order a meal to chatbots designed to relay your banking information, companies are increasingly turning to artificial intelligence to improve the consumer experience. Experts say these messaging services have taken off in the last year and will likely expand further in months to come, but they warn the use of bots can blur the line between business and personal interactions. As AI continue to grow as conversationalists, exchanges between humans and chatbots have begun to edge into flirty territory, which can affect customers' trust in the service. Experts say these messaging services have taken off in the last year and will likely expand further in months to come, but they warn the use of bots can blur the line between business and personal interactions. Capital One launched its chatbot Eno this past Falco chatbots help at end of life, an end of life chatbot that helps terminally ill patients struggling with tough decisions is being tested by researchers. The tablet-based bot can help guide people near the end of their lives through a number of difficult issues, including funeral plans, wills and spiritual questions. The experts behind the bot say it was created to help people have important conversations before it's too late. The chatbot was designed by a team of doctors, hospital chaplains and scientists for people within a year of the end of their life, New Scientist reports. It automatically alerts caregivers and family members when a patient is ready to formalize end-of-life plans. In future the chatbot could be particularly useful to socially isolated people who don't have anyone to speak to. For the most part, chatbots have been well received, with customers showing their appreciation through images, thanks replies, and even marriage proposals, Rob Alexander, CIO of Capital One Financial Corporation, told the Wall Street Journal blog, CIO Journal. Capital One launched its chat video this past fall to help customers check balances and make payments, among other tasks. Chatbit services allow customers to get instant help for most issues, no matter the time of day. And, they're constantly improving, meaning they could soon perform more advanced tasks. A customer service bot used by Microsoft, for example, once even helped a customer order pizza by engaging Cortana, according to CIO Journal. But, Firms that have employed the chatbots say the use of certain tools, such as images, has worked against them. Images just didn't communicate our level of trust and sensitivity to our customers, Sherry Rhodes, CTO at Western Union, told CIO Journal. It's not a time to be cute or funny. Smiley faces don't work. Microsoft revealed earlier this year that it would be rolling out an AI chatbot that can be used to respond to call center requests. The virtual assistant is designed to let people describe issues and respond with suggestions from the user manual or help documents, according to a report in the Wall Street Journal. And, in the spring, 
Facebook unveiled its M Digital Assistant that aims to suggest helpful actions in the Messenger platform. The increasingly popular chatbots aren't just used for customer service. The recently unveiled Wobit, for example, is designed to help people with mental health issues by chatting with them on Facebook Messenger. According to the team behind the service, it's been shown to reduce the symptoms of anxiety and depression. While Wobit engages in 2 million conversations a week, some experts have cited privacy fears as chatbot patients are not protected by U.S. confidentiality laws.